Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's lesson, I'd like to talk about bad shift solenoid. Some of the key signs that your shift solenoid is failing is you're going to have some sort of transmission issue in regards to shifting. So if you're experiencing shifting issues such as your vehicle won't upshift or downshift when you're stepping on the gas pedal or decelerating, that's also a sign that you're gonna have some sort of shift solenoid issue. Also, let's just say you're driving and suddenly it feels like the vehicle is jumping gears, for example, from first gear to third gear, or from third gear to fifth gear. That's also a sign that your shift solenoid is failing. In addition, let's just say you're trying to shift out of park from park to drive and there is no response. Let's just say your vehicle's not moving at all. That's also another sign that your shift solenoid is failing. On top of that, let's just say if you're driving and suddenly you're trying to pick up speed, but it feels like the speed is being delayed, that's also a sign that your shift solenoids are failing. In addition, let's just say you're driving and suddenly it feels like your RPM jumps out of nowhere. That can also be a sign that you're having some sort of shift solenoid issue. So what do you want to do? You want to check your vehicle for um, shift solenoid co codes. If you have any codes, there's a good chance that this may need to be replaced or checked. Even if you're getting shift solenoid codes, it's important to not to condemn this immediately and say it is faulty. There could be a lot of different factors that's causing the shift solenoid to fail and that must be addressed and fixed first. So what I like to do first is I like to partially drain the uh, transmission and get a sample of the uh, transmission fluid. As you can see here, I loosen up the uh, transmission uh, pan um, drain plug and I got a, a little amount of uh, transmission fluid. First thing I like to check is the uh, color. You want to make sure that the fluid is not dirty and you want to make sure that it's not brown color and it's clear. Also, you want to make sure that the transmission fluid is not cloudy and you want to make sure that there's no medical particles floating in it. Also, let's just say the transmission fluid looks somewhat milky. So that's going to be your, um, your transmission cooler failing. And basically, nowadays, in most modern uh, radiator, it has the, uh, the radiator built together with the transmission cooler. And when the uh, transmission cooler or the radiator itself, itself fails, that can cause the coolant and the transmission fluid to mix together and cause a, a cloudy uh, mixture. So basically what's that got, what that's going to do is it's going to cause the uh, shift solenoid passages over here on both sides and that's going to cause it to clog and eventually cause it to fail and it will not work properly. So personally I did replace this shift solenoid off a of Toyota Corolla and what I suspect is that it fell due to a contamination. So since I got this, my, the sample over here, if you look carefully, you can see there's a lot of medical particles floating in it. And that is one of the key signs that I know that the uh, transmission itself is causing the shift solenoid to fail. So what I recommend to do is change the transmission filter and give it a good uh, transmission fluid change. And lastly, if you're going to install a brand new shift solenoid, make sure you check the connection, make sure the shift solenoid, it's inserted all the way. And you also want to make sure the wires are in good condition and make sure to use brand new transmission fluid, brand new filter, and make sure there are no leaks because leaks will cause some sort of transmission issue. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.